It was a Friday morning, and the entire company was gathered around a small conference table, awaiting the entrance of our CEO to come in and disclose to us what the future of our jobs, our organization, our financial situation, what all of this would be. We all knew that the company was having struggles. We all knew that there was a, a potential for the company to close. And ever since the news of that potential coming, all of us have been working really, really hard, turning the dial up to 11, trying to get out there and grind, all of, all of us in our respective positions trying to hustle and make it happen to fix what was going on. And now, come the await, now came the awaited time for the CEO to come in and finally give us the orders of, of what will actually manifest. If our hard work would pay off and we'd be able to push forward or if everything that we've been working hard to do turned out to not be enough. Everyone was huddled around a table, small table, about 80 people in a room awaiting to hear the news. Downtown Denver, snow's fallen, hearts pounding. CEO comes in, she smiles. You can kind of tell she'd been crying a little bit. Sits down at the table. Everyone kind of leans in and she doesn't hesitate at all. She starts off just being very straightforward and direct and to the point and basically informs all of us that Unfortunately, we were going to have to find new jobs. The company is closing. Our small startup that have been trying to push and, and make it happen was finally closing. I myself at that position was an account executive. So it was my job to go out and find new clients, maintain current clients, increase our book of business. And we had been working double time to try and do that. We had a lot of clientele that understood what was going on and, and were for the mission of our company and thought that our company was making a big difference. And so they went out and did their part as well in trying to send more business our way and support the company, but it wasn't enough. I remember the feeling of the heart sink of realizing number one, that the company that I really loved working for, the people that I really loved working with was going away. And that really sucked. But then also the other side of trying to think, what am I going to do? At the time of my life, I had literally just moved into a brand new home with my wife and child. My wife also being pregnant with our second. And we had used the money and the increased amount of income that I had from this position to be able to afford the new place. And all of these stresses start, started coming up, trying to figure it out. It was a rough and tumultuous time for my life and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget the feeling and I'll never forget the look on the people's faces that were in the room realizing that the organization that we all knew and loved was going away and the devastation from everyone. It was a crappy, crappy feeling and it really got me thinking, what is, how do companies get here? How, how does that happen? How do organizations get here? How does even like just from the smallest minute thing, like trying to run and maintain a, a small YouTube channel and grow it into something bigger? How is it that it comes to a place where the thing just starts to fall apart? And it, you know, it, it really does cause you to think and kind of hustle and kind of go through your mind and figure out like what, what are the things that I could have done different? What are the things that we could do, do different? And that's where I'm really grateful for the amount of books and the amount of uh, material that you can get your hands on to learn exactly how these things work, what are the best way to run them. And I will, I do remember a quote actually from uh, Only the Paranoid Sur Survive by Andrew Grove, really good book. Um, and what he says basically is management is like a machine. It needs regular maintenance, adjustment, and replacement of parts. And like any machine, it will eventually wear out if it is not properly cared for. Uh, and he actually drives this point home further in his book, High Output Management, uh, which is a really, really good book. that talks about how building and growing an organization is like building a machine. And he relates it to building an egg, uh, the perfect egg machine. And throughout the book, he uses that um, parable to further explain and outline in detail 
the nuances between or growing your organization, growing yourself, whatever it is that you do. Another great thing about that book is the final chapter. He relates it to your life. And it really, really got me thinking, especially thinking back to this organization that I was a part of that closed its doors. And then thinking back to all of the different projects and all the different things that I put my hands to and eventually closed down. It's, it is a machine. It constantly needs to be oiled. It constantly needs to be updated. And it has parts repaired or replaced. And I've watched a lot of business owners and I've worked around to many different characters, many different people being in the driver's seats and me being able to be in the operational role. And I see how they get frustrated uh, at the uh, work that it takes to keep it there and how you have to set the standard, you have to set the pace. And it's very similar to operating a machine. It's very similar to owning a car. You have to consistently maintain it, keep it well oiled, make sure you rotate the tires, make sure you check the alignment, make sure your your uh, tires aren't wearing too, uh, wearing too thin and you have to get them replaced. All of these things may seem monotonous, but it comes with the territory. Can you keep up the pace? Can you keep up the work? You know, it's important as you break down that, that parable that when you're going into something, like when you're going into like your YouTube channel, not when you're essentially building that machine, you're essentially building this thing that's going to constantly run and output your product essentially, which your product will be your videos and your content. But you also have to make sure that you can build a machine that you can also maintain and maintain and do the parts and, and, and you know, do the repairs, do the updates, do the th and continually do it consistency. And so what happens is, is a lot of people create these uh, content or these channels, and I've done this too. I have channels that I've, that I've closed down because I never put the thought into what the long-term run looks like and what it looks like and, and what it's going to require of me to continually output the consistent product. And, and, you know, and then I get tired or angry or frustrated at the consistent uh, call to attention that it needs. You know, I have to continually make content and I'm out of ideas. I have to continually update this. I have to continually do my tag research. I have to continually do it. And I, so I never really take the thought of building something that I could actually keep up with and it's not going to wear me too thin. I see a lot of people do it. And I even see it in management. I'm involved. I've been involved in many different organizations. I've been very lucky to, to be able to say this from experience, but also one that I can think of where I constantly had the leader of the organization complaining at how everything needed management. And it's this is what it is. If they wanted to grow the organization further, all it's going to require is more management. There needs to be someone that comes in and sets the standard. And you find yourself constantly being that person and having to be that person. And so um, I, I believe and I tend to be agree with Andrew Grove. He's really changed my opinion on this. And I think it's an amazing perspective that companies and organizations, they fall behind when they fail at repairing the machine, at maintaining the machine, keeping it oiled, keeping it updated, making sure you're having parts. All these things play a role. If you look at it in that light, that is exactly what you're doing. You're building a, a machine that consistently outputs a product, consistently outputs an experience, consistently outputs a feeling. And your job is to maintain it. So the questions you have to ask yourself when you're building is, can I maintain this? Can I be consistent? Can I keep up with the requirements it's going to take to keep this thing running? And building out a habitual a practice around that. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gives you something to think about. Let me know if you want more content like this. Please like, subscribe, share. All those things really help the channel grow. It really helps us. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this? Have you read Andrew Grove's book or at least listened to it? I think it's worth your time. What do you think about the machine analogy? I'm really curious to see what you guys think about that. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.